Today, House lawmakers took up several bills they believe will enhance school safety, and one of them is stirring up some controversy. House Bill 3 would require an armed security guard at every school in the state, and it's facing pushback from critics. CBS Austin's Paige Hubbard is live with this Crisis in the Classroom report. Paige. Hey, my House Bill 3 had its second reading today and is a part of a larger package of bills that addresses beefing up school security. Now, those who oppose this bill say Texas lawmakers should be focusing on policies that make it harder for people to access guns, not adding more guns on school campuses. There being 122 I's, 19 nays, and two PNVs. HB3 has passed to engrossment. The topic of school safety was front and center for House lawmakers on Monday. Republican State Representative Dustin Burroughs from Lubbock is the author of House Bill 3. He says the Avaldi shooting that killed 19 students and two teachers last year made it clear that the state of Texas needs to make fundamental changes to protect schools and communities. He feels the bill is one way to do that. There's a lot of other parts of the bill that provide money for safety enhancements, a safety audit, upgrading facility standards that aren't very controversial, but adding one armed security officer per school is why this bill is getting so much statewide and national attention. Democratic State Representative Ana Maria Ramos pushed back on Monday, saying the bill would arm teachers and called for an amendment to prevent educators or school staff from being forced to carry a gun. Before the request failed, Representative Burroughs fired back saying, this is a false narrative that this bill arms teachers. Liz Hanks from the Texas chapter of Moms Demand Action disagrees. It's not a false narrative. Our schools are starved for funding. Now you've made it a requirement that they have someone armed on every campus. And one of the avenues available to them is the cheapest option, which is arming staff or teachers through the Guardian program. Other school safety bills taken up during the session included House Bill 13. This will call for school districts to have an active shooter preparedness plan, as well as require schools to complete mental health and first aid training. This is a bill that seems to be much more popular because everybody is in favor of safer schools. State Representative Sean Theory authored House Bill 669, which looks to put silent panic alert technology in every Texas school. Hank says all of these measures cost money and believes there are not data driven solutions for protecting schools or communities from gun violence. We know what the solutions are. It's preventing people who are a danger to themselves or others from getting access to a gun in the first place. And because our legislature refuses to take any action that would actually do that, they'll do these other things that some people can feel good about. House Joint Resolution 170 was also passed today. The constitutional amendment seeks to create more funding to bolster safety initiatives for schools across the state. If you want to read more about these bills, look for this story on our website. Paige Hubbard reporting in front of the state's capital, CBS Austin, Austin News. Thank you, Paige. If you have a tip for our crisis in the classroom team, we want to know about it. You can call us at 512-522-5788 or send us an email at CBS Austin class tips at gmail.com. Please make sure you include all of your contact information.